Welcome back to New Rockstars. There's so much to discuss this week between John Barenthal returning as the Punisher for Daredevil Born Again and Houston, we've got our Silver Surfer. Whoop. Whoop. Or, Whoop. or a version of it, how do you pronounce it? Shalabal. Shalabal. Shalabal? I don't know, I don't know if it's ever been spoken aloud before. <laughs> Certainly not in any like official Marvel project. Maybe in the animated series, the Silver Surfer animated series. Mm -hmm. I call, I call him Shalabal. Shalabal, and it's being played by Julia Garner for the new Fantastic Four movie. What stories can they bring and what should we expect? Are we even excited about it? Who I'm knows? excited. I'm very excited. excited. We'll talk about it because maybe <laughs> I'm excited. I'm Jessica Clemens and this is the Sneak Peek, the weekly show where we look ahead to the week in nerdy news. Eric's out and I'm the best they could do as a replacement. What are you? And <laughs> you're not the replacement. I'm the replacement. No, no, let me finish. Okay, let me finish. Sorry. I'm the best they could do as a replacement for Eric. Eric, mm. but the replacement for me as my co-host <laughs> is Brandon Barrick. I'm so happy to be, be playing the Jessica in this scenario. And the thing is, you're better than Jessica. So no, absolutely not. That's 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 a lie. That's a lie. A bold faced lie. Oh my god. Which one are you more excited to talk about today? Julia Garner being the new Silver Surfer? Oh or geez. Uh, I, I love all this Fantastic Four news. I'm very excited about this movie. But seeing John Bernthal come back as the Punisher, I mean, it's what everyone really wanted. It is. You know and I mean? those two seasons were really good. And then it also it sucked because the second season, like came out when all the other shows were being canceled. Yeah. So it was like, damn, we know he's not getting a third season, but he's coming back. Right. And like Punisher, I think is like, uh, it's a tough character yeah. to do. And I was always like, I don't know about uh, in live action. This is even before like John Bernthal, when like Thomas Jane was doing it, he was great. He was a great little, mm -hmm. little Punisher. I say a little Punisher, but like <laughs> his, his movies were fine. They were good. We enjoyed them. I only I only watched the John Barenthal Punisher because I was like, after that- You haven't seen the Thomas Jane one? Well, I've, everyone was saying that, well, I believed it and I saw it. The, the Punisher yeah, yeah. played by John Barenthal is probably the best one. Right. And so I was like, I don't want to see the other one. They did like a short with Thomas Jane after he had been the Punisher. And it was like almost like a Frank Castle-esque short, Ooh. like Laundry Day or something like that to kind of like tease. Cause I think he wanted to come back. I don't, I don't remember I the timeline of all the Punisher stuff. I was, never, I was never big on the Punisher in the comics because I was like, I always liked the people with powers and like no, the, no, the, the fun, no. bright costume. The Punisher was like some dark, dark stuff. I know, and, mm, okay, so my, my darkness came in the form of Spawn. Spawn. Yeah! I like the Hell's Child! I don't think that's a real name for Spawn, but I, I like it. Who like, doesn't like Spawn? Spawn was edgy. Spawn was like, sorry, mom. I'm a teenager now. I'm into Spawn. And she was like, what the hell are you smoking for? I was like, I'm not. This is a candy cigarette, mom. Ooh, sometimes I take my pretzel stick and I dip it in cheese and I pretend it's a lit cigarette. This is this is Brandon just opening up about what he used to do as a child. My mom was like, freak. you're such a nerd. You're such a weirdo. Okay, regardless, set photos have been released recently of John Barenthal's Punisher on set of Daredevil Born Again. And as we know, the Punisher had his own show on Netflix that ran for two seasons, but he was also featured in Daredevil's, in Netflix's Daredevil series for the second season. Right. It was like 12 episodes, which was honestly very yeah, long. He was kind of hit a lot in that right yeah th that was a weird because i think he opened with yeah. the netflix daredevil season two and then he got yeah they show. introduced him mm. in daredevil and then he also showed up in defenders right? he showed up in like one episode they were but like they come were... be a defender he's like no yeah but and that's, why I, that's why i like the punisher so yeah. much because he was like you guys can be a team <laughs> okay yeah. i'm just gonna go to the yeah. deal with this and be a weird gruesome vigilante also he's still too violent to be a part of the defense right, right. he cannot and that's why these set photos are so big because he has blood splattered all over his face oh i thought that was maybe he, he got like a raspberry donut do you think he just like hard, smashed just into his face was like this one's for you lisa ah, oh my god ah. well he's now officially entering the disney mcu with daredevil <laughs> born again through these set photos and we're so excited to have that bloody mess back in here <laughs> uh we see frank castle looking menacingly in all these photos the blood splattered on his face clearly shows that he probably delivered a huge beat down yeah, yeah. while Daredevil just watched. Probably not guns, probably his fists or yeah. a, a blunt force object. He got the butt of a gun. Ooh. The oh, butt just of a like gun pistol whipping pistol. some dudes? Because that's the thing. If this takes place a little bit, if Daredevil Born Again takes place several years after the original series, yeah. what the hell is uh, Frank Castle been doing after the finale of season two of his show, right. where he dons back on the new suit. Is he uh, still looking for Fisk to kill him? Because he vowed in the second season, like, hey, if I ever see Fisk again, I'm gonna kill you. And We can uh, actually use that, Mr. Punisher. I think we need to get <laughs> Wilson Fisk off the table. He's get a bad him. dude. He's not gonna kill him. No. Do you think there's a world in which the Punisher could die? 
Ooh, the Punisher dies. I mean, that's okay. That's the thing with the MCU and like the live actionness of it all, right? Is that the comics, you know, people die in the comics and they mm-hmm. come back or they're not dead or like you missed it. I, I was actually, that was a body devil sent by a demon, by all that kind of stuff. The movies have a little more in live action TV shows kind of have like a little more finality to them because like these characters, the actors that portray them, they age Mm -hmm. and they don't want to play the character forever. And like, they want to move on and stuff like that. So I feel like if you kill Punisher on the show, right. If you Mm -hmm. kill Frank Castle, right. You could have another Punisher in that continuity, but they would have to be under a different name. Right. Yeah. I think if you kill, killing Frank Castle and bringing in like a new person to play Frank Castle as like a reborn, I I don't know. That's all very messy. Now, someone like Tony Stark, right? Robert Downey Jr. is Tony Stark, or like uh, uh, Chris Evans as Steve Rogers. I, I, I feel the pull, like they want to bring that character back somehow. I mean, Steve Rogers isn't dead for all intents and purposes, but like Tony Stark is dead. If they bring back Robert Downey Jr., that's going to be like, oh, from another multiverse. Yeah. We brought in Tony Stark. There's no reason to bring yeah. Frank Castle from another Don't multiverse. Don't be rude. Right? He might like, just show up. What, what if he was like Cable kind of in another universe? And yeah. he just like, I can travel. It's Pepper um, Potts. Pepper Potts has like a, a universe multiverse machine. And she's like, man, I really just want my husband back. And she's tried, she's she's pulled a kingpin from Into the Spider-Verse where she's trying to pull a Tony from another universe. And she just keeps pulling Frank Castles. And they're like, we're, we're the dirty cops. I'm going to kill them all. Like, Settle down. Settle down. <laughs> Settle down. You're being The government's too like, please, Pepper, stop pulling in these Frank Castles. That sucks. It sucks because you're true. You're right. But like, like the defenders can't be the ones pulled out from and right. defenders plus Frank Castle cannot be pulled yeah. out and be like, here's your duplicate. Yeah. We don't we don't need more Frank Castle. One, one is more oh than enough. God. For those watching that are like Frank Castle, the Punisher, I did not watch that series. Well, yeah. it's two seasons. You should be watching it. It's very violent. Remember that Netflix is like uh, MCU was just so raw. It was so oh, fun. So for them. violent. This felt more long violent seasons, than Daredevil. Long episodes. One hour. I think it was like 13 episodes a yeah. season. One hour each. And they went for that like 58 minutes. Yeah. Last we saw Frank and Daredevil, they originally fought a lot as Matt was protecting Grotto, who was being tracked by Frank Castle. Matt later covered him as an attorney in court for killing most of the New <laughs> York gangs. And in that court, the court scene. Frank figures it out in that scene, right? Like, yeah. And it's so good. It's so good. The court, the entire entire court part is so fun because like a little boy's like he killed my dad and frank was like i'll do it again <laughs> everyone was like and he was so close to getting yeah, off yeah. to people were like like foggy was like put yourself in his shoes duh, 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 duh. and then frank was like and i'd murder again <laughs> I'll do it twice if I have to. So he goes to jail. He's freed by Kingpin. But when he escapes with the help from Kingpin, he vows that if he ever saw Kingpin again, he'd kill him. Kill him, kill him. So that was like the last we saw of Frank and Daredevil. They ended up working together a lot, which was nice. He talked with Karen yeah. a lot. He became really close with Karen. Yeah, Karen and him, they, they got very close, right? Yeah. They do had a think, little scene in an elevator, right? Where they're kind of like yeah, looking it's, at each other. It's like in... There was a part, I think, in his show in the second season where Karen comes and he has like a heart to heart again with her. Yeah. And I was like, my dude, you already have a girl on your show. <laughs> like you working with. Two. I mean, and let's not forget, like Karen's story in. Yeah. In the Netflix uh, Marvel shows is dark. It's yeah. dark. And like, so is Frank. She's a ton of trauma. So she's drawn to someone like Frank, not only someone who also has trauma and they can like kind of bond on that experience, but she wants someone who will kill any danger that comes towards her. And that's And like, she sees that in Matt, right? Like she, mm-hmm. she knows Matt is Daredevil and like she feels safe, but like she also knows Matt is like by the books and is like, if someone's trying to kill Karen, he may not kill that person, right? He might be like, well, we're gonna take him to court and he's gonna spend the rest of his life in jail. I'll make sure he never gets out. Yeah. Whereas Frank is like, don't worry, babe, I'll take care of this. <laughs> Let me just get my pretzels and my cheese. And I'll kill every any man that gets close to you. I Maybe. hate you so much. What do you think with the timeline, with what we know, with the cast that's coming mm-hmm. back, which is like Karen Foggy, uh, Punisher now, yeah. uh, the, the Bullseye's coming back. We right, know Kingpin's right. coming back. We have the new characters, the new love interest that we saw um, Charlie Cox making out with yeah, in the yeah. behind-the-scenes photos. What is the Punisher going to add to this? Well, what this is, is point yeah, I mean, that's a great... You you had kind of like... You, you mentioned it a little bit earlier. Like, when is this taking place? Yes. How does this, how does he fit into Born Again? My thoughts are also like, we know that Daredevil Born Again started shooting before the strikes. The strike happened. Yes. And during that time, Mm -hmm. they get rid of the original writers. They Mm -hmm. do like a little rewrite. They're like, we're going to kind of reset here. And that seems to be when they added in Foggy and Cameron. Because they didn't seem to be a part of the story 
beforehand. That was that was the word on the street, but the actors were like, we're not involved, blah, 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 blah. A lot of uproar, people wanted them, and now it seems like they're back in. I'm wondering, mm-hmm. do you think Punisher was involved in this story I, before the, the changes? I have that question. I wrote that question in here because oh, I was okay. like, I was thinking, no, 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 <laughs> I'll get to it now. I was thinking about that too, because I was thinking, what I really went back to was Jessica Gal for She-Hulk was like, we had a million people that weren't Daredevil thought of because we didn't think we yeah, could get she Daredevil. Yeah, she was pitching ideas. Yeah. She was like, we were, I didn't expect to get Daredevil. Right. And then when Kevin Feige was like, you guys have Daredevil, here's your, go make a story. Yeah. They were like, oh God, we were introducing Daredevil. Right, right. So I wonder if that was the same situation that happened here where they were like, you guys are going to get Punisher. And it's like, oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How do we fit this in? So I don't think so. You don't think he was involved originally? Before, well, may, he had, maybe. Because you said that he shared like stuff on Instagram. Well, then a couple weeks ago, he shared uh, uh, the cover of a book that's one batch, two batch, which is like a book that his daughter Lisa really liked and he read to her. But he tweeted that a couple weeks ago. Remember that Instagram post from his trainer that was like, Oh yeah. Bring back the Punisher. Oh yeah. Do you think there he was, was training? That. Be- it, well, it, the thing is, I could see, because Marvel does do their planning like months ahead. Sure, so I could sure. see them being like, you have the Punisher. Mm-hmm. And then the rewrites is what gave them bullseye, what gave them the other people. Yeah. Um, Cause they, I, it, but is that going to be their new algorithm is introducing new defenders in each one of their new yeah. series now? Because uh, I mean, yeah, Daredevil is introducing She-Hulk, but it really like hit home in Echo. We right. were like, oh, oh, shit. And then the Defenders all went on Disney Plus. So we were like, oh, shit. So now are they just going to introduce every one of the Netflix in this, m- Marvel one this way? Maybe. I mean, you know, considering how Echo played out, and we know there were reshoots on Echo and they kind of mm-hmm. changed the story as they went. But they, it seemed like Fisk was always involved. Yeah, Fisk and Daredevil true. were always involved in that story. How much of it changed uh, as that production happened, that's right? True. We got what we got at the end. Hearing what you said about where like Kingpin and Punisher last left off, I think maybe they were always going to include Punisher yeah, in this Born Again story. Maybe as a smaller like little cameo role, but if they are going for the story of like, oh, uh, you know, Kingpin is going to run for mayor. He's going to want to get rid of rid of the vigilant vigilantes, right? Yeah, that's true. Daredevil's a vigilante, but also Punisher, right? And so Punisher might see an ally and Daredevil like, hey, we got to protect each other because they're trying to get rid of all the vigilantes. Let's look out for each other. We're going to work together. And Daredevil's like, please don't kill him. And Frank Castle's like, I'm going to kill him. That's the thing is like where Daredevil and Echo were like counterparts, it feels like when it comes to fighting. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the dynamic dynamic between Frank and Daredevil because they're both arguably going for the same goal. It's just that Frank is much more ruthless. He'll kill you and ask questions later or not ask questions at all. He'll just kill you first. So I think they just wanted to throw that dynamic in there. And someone has to be on Daredevil's side. Right. Because if this is taking place like after the blip or whatever, we do know that Daredevil stayed during the blip. So he if he's crazy (laughs) and he's working with the Punisher. We know he was alive based on what happened on Echo, right? He was there. And if if Punisher didn't get blipped either... If, if some of Daredevil Born Again oh takes place during the blip and we see that Punisher was also around, it could be crazy. That's insane. But in the set photos, they do have a photo in the back that says like uh, Gina Brown or someone, but that some people have already said that that's um, a costume designer mm. that worked on some other Marvel projects. But I really want to pay attention to the background of these set photos to see if it takes place during the blip. Yeah, yeah, we always want to know. Um, do you think that he's going to be... I? I think he's still, when I say this, I'm not rooting for it. Okay. Do you think he's unintentionally working for Fisk? Oh. And when I say unintentionally, it's like you. He's being manipulated in some way. And it happened before. Mm -hmm. It happens all the time that people don't know who they're working for. Um, Fisk uh, double crossed him in prison and sent a bunch of goons after him in prison. And he killed every single one of them and was like, hey, thanks for releasing me. Just so you know, if I see you again, (laughs) it's on site. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Well, if Fisk, like, right, if Fisk wants to run for mayor, for instance, and like someone is in his way, he leaks some information to Frank that like, hey, this guy, you know, he's a bad dude. Yeah. Uh, he beats his wife or like he's, you know, he's crooked. He he works with bad cops or something. Then Frank might, yeah, unintentionally take out some opposition to yeah. uh, Kingpin. Kingpin could also manipulate Frank in a way to get him to do something as a vigilante. Mm-hmm. And then Kingpin goes on the news and is like, look at these vigilantes, look what they're doing, they're crazy. Yeah, that's true. They're that's, killing people. We think they're gonna use yeah. uh, Daredevil as the example. They're gonna use Frank yeah, again as the example. Yeah, Daredevil can keep himself in check a little bit. That's Frank all, cannot. Yeah, Frank cannot. And also Frank escaped prison. Yeah. So it's like, he's still wanted. Right, <laughs> it's right, not right, like right. He's, he's a free man. <laughs> he hasn't been held accountable for any of his crimes uh, fully yet. So yeah, they're gonna use him. 
him as the example. But I think there's going to be that episode where something big happens and you're going to have to work together instead of just like, okay, don't kill everybody. Because yeah, yeah. that scene, the photos, <laughs> like he has blood splattered. He killed, he, he already killed someone. Could be Raspberry Jam. We don't know. I know damn well he's we not. We don't know. With that buddy, he ain't eating any Raspberry Jams. <laughs> Well, that's what I mean. He saw the donut and he was so angry because he couldn't eat it. He just go, punched go, him. Go, Get this donut out of here! He's, Get this donut out of here! Is that your John Barrett though? Yeah, it's pretty perfect. It's pretty perfect. <laughs> Do you think that we could see John playing uh, Frank Castle in Spider-Man 4 now? Do we, do we want him in Spider-Man <laughs> Poor little teenage Petey Parker. I mean, he's grown up now. He's yeah. taking the GED. This is, I adult. love that the, his adult self is meeting <laughs> yeah, up yeah. with Frank Castle yeah, now. Yeah. He's like, it's like, you you don't need to be Daredevil anymore. He's like, yeah, yeah, we took on Thanos. And Frank's like, yeah, did you, did you cut his throat? Did you rip his guts out? I was like, no, we made Tony snap. So he turned into Ash. Oh, my God. Do we want him? I don't know. If we well, here's the deal. Here's the thing, right? That'd be too violent. John Barenthal is a movie actor. You know That's true. I mean? He's done some television, but he my man's been in movies. He's he's an on-screen presence. He would feel great on screen on the big silver screen, right? Mm-hmm. But I don't I don't know. In Spider-Man, if there's the rumor that like they Feige's looking to do a more grounded Spider-Man 4 on the streets of New York. If they're working this hard to establish Daredevil, Charlie Cox mm-hmm. in the MCU in in New York, a practicing lawyer, right? Frank, and they're gonna do this show. Frank's gonna be in New York too, and like the Spider-Man surely yeah. has heard about one, Frank's shenanigans. 100%. The thing is, two things. One, we're, we're doing the grounded route. We're not going anymore with the scrolls in uh, Secret Invasion. I right. was like, oh, this is our grounded direction. No, we're doing New York. We're doing New York and politics. Yeah. So it's like, yep, 100%, they are all going to clash. Every person mm. in New York that is a super... Like, we're even going to get New Jersey involved. So, like, even... Um, Kamala Khan. Yeah, Kamala Khan. Swinging over. We've, uh, Kate Bishop. Like, we're going to see those even, not in Spider-Man 4, but it's like New York is clashing. Everyone there is going to meet because those are the grounded people now. Um, But I could also, we know that after his aunt died, Aunt May in um, No Way Home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in No Way Home. She still worked at that that kitchen. Feast? Yeah, Feast. And I was like, I could see Frank go in there to eat while he's doing his rounds. And then maybe he has the like a weird heart to heart because he still lost his family. And so did... uh, Spider-Man now, uh, just so you guys remember that Frank Castle's entire family was killed yes, at a park killed. in front of they him. They were killed. Um, and by a villain. So yeah. it's like, they both have the same kind of history. I, I just don't want Peter to learn anger from him. I feel like Peter, if, if Peter's working at Feast and Frank Castle comes in, Peter immediately will be like, Spider-Sense. Like, <laughs> oh, this dude yeah, is, true. This guy, up with this guy. I gotta this keep guy has gotta three keep Berettas <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. attached to his hip right now, currently. Yeah. But that, that would, that's a great way of doing it if they don't meet as Spider-Man and Punisher, but they meet as Peter Parker and Frank, and Frank Castle, Castle and bond over their trauma. I, think, I like that. I think Spider-Man 4, if we do bring in like a Marvel superhero, mm-hmm. it has to be Daredevil. And yeah. then that, and then they have that reminiscent like, oh, weren't you also my right. lawyer? <laughs> yeah, when are they gonna, when are they gonna talk to each other about that? They got to. Oh, they're cultures. cool. They're going to. Okay. He's going to be like, I actually. Actually. Well, no, because he doesn't. Well, they'll figure out then because he doesn't know that he's Peter Parker yeah. or Peter Parker was Spider-Man. Well, that's right. Because, yeah, Charlie, in theory, Matt Murdock has forgotten. That yeah. But I think they'll knows. have a conversation yeah, yeah. and they'll be like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a second. I know. <laughs> wait a minute. Or maybe he, he's smart. He can smell. He's like, I know. Um, I know that you're fine. I can smell that you're Do you? Oh, I wish. I put in the script that uh, would he be teaming up with the Defenders in this now? I still don't want him to be a part of the Defenders. He's just too no, gruesome. He's, yeah. He's a different. He's a different breed than you the know defenders. who he needs to team up with. Who are you gonna say? Echo. <laughs> no, I don't want Echo back in that. I don't want her back in that gang violence. I don't want her back in that gang violence. It's not gang violence. It's he's just, gang violence. It's just violence. He's crazy as hell. I mean, she's still mad at Kingpin. Yeah, and so is he. So that's all. I, that's all I, we have for this point of the discussion because I do want to go to the Fantastic Four for a separate discussion. Yeah, we're gonna talk about some of that Fantastic Four news, but first, a quick word from our sponsor. We all have a bunch of random downtime during the day that we don't really do anything with, right? You know the routine, you order a coffee, and while you're waiting, you scroll mindlessly. I used to do it too, I don't judge, but now I use YouGov to take surveys and earn extra cash instead. YouGov is free to join and super easy to use. You just sign up, and then once you're a member, you'll earn points for completing short surveys and polls with your actual opinions. Since I've started using YouGov, I've just been casually racking up points and trading them in for gift cards 
cards to all kinds of places. My go-tos are Amazon and DoorDash, but you can also get gift cards for Apple, Best Buy, eBay, and more. It's wild how easy it's been to earn a little bit of extra cash and how quickly the points add up. I can't believe I didn't discover this ages ago. Click the link in the description to take surveys and earn cash on YouGov. Along with all that uh, exciting set photos of the Punisher, we it's been uh, kind of a busy news week towards the end of this week with Fantastic Four news. Oh my God, dude. Some crazy stuff. On Wednesday, we had Deadline reporting that Julia Garner has been cast as Shala Ball mm. uh, in a Silver Surfer version of Shala Ball. Now, Marvel, as of this taping, still has not commented on this, yes or no. But they haven't said no, so it makes me think that this is definitely happening. It was also on Deadline. Well, Deadline, yeah, Deadline is pretty good, but they're, yeah. they're just citing sources, okay, right? That's Deadline's true. pretty that's good. True. That's true. Uh, the, you know, Deadline, The Hollywood Reporter, Variety, those those outlets, they will go with like an unnamed sources, but they are usually pretty sure about their okay. story. They're not going to just run like kind of a leaky story like this. Okay, got it. So that seems to be where we're going. Though the way they describe in the article, right? Shala Ball, a silver surfer, a silver surfer, a version of the character that's the silver surfer is very weird, right? There, and some, Zach kind of brought this up on the, the live break room uh, taping they did right after this news drops. But, you know, the idea that she is the only silver surfer doesn't seem right. You know, they're not saying like she is the silver surfer. She's saying that this character is like a Silver Surfer version of the character. Now, Shala Ball, to give you a quick rundown. <laughs> Did you see my face? <laughs> she is a, 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 she's an older character. She mm-hmm. first showed up in the comics in 1968 in a Silver Surfer comic story. Okay. Silver Surfer number one she showed up in. She's basically like the love interest of Norrin Rod. Norn Rad, Norn Rod, who play, who is the Silver oh, Surfer, okay. right? The Silver Surfer was in love with this woman. She lives on a planet called Zen La, I believe. They're a planet where people live for like thousands of years, live for a very long time, like the Asgardians. Yeah. Norn and, and Shala, they're in love. The Silver Surfer, or the Galactus is gonna destroy uh, uh, Shala's planet. And Norn Rad's like, please don't, I'll become your herald as long as you spare her planet. And so that's how their story begins. And their story is usually they're separated, right? They can't yeah. be together because he has to be the Silver Surfer. And she's stuck over here. And at some point, like the Silver Surfer betrays Galactus. He does wind up destroying her planet. That pisses off the Silver Surfer. She yeah. winds up in like Latveria with her mind wiped. Mm-hmm. Mephisto gets involved, like tons of stories. She's been around for a while, right? But it's usually cast in like their, their love interests but they're usually separated either by time or space or blackness or whatever. They can't be together. Right. Now there is a storyline in a different uh, universe. It was called Universe X. It's like Earth 9997, right? And in that storyline, they kill Galactus, but then Norrin Rad realizes like, oh, we actually need Galactus. We've created like an imbalance, right? You need, you have the Celestials creating life. You need uh, uh, Galactus destroying life. Like that kind of thing. You need mm-hmm. the balance. So they're like, we definitely need a Galactus. So Norrin Rad uh, uh, and Shala, they team up with the High Evolutionary. They go to Franklin yeah. Richards and they're like, listen, my guy, we're going to speed up your evolution. We're going to turn you into Galactus. Oh my God. Uh, and so they do that. What a mistake. And then and <laughs> Norrin and Shala together act as the Herald. So they're both kind of a silver surfer. Okay. And in that instance, Shala does become like silver. Silver hair, silver body, like looks like the Silver Surfer. And together they kind of take Franklin Richards around as Galactus, like destroying planets that way. Oh, okay. So, and in some other stories, like she's gotten the power cosmic from Norrin. So yeah, it sounds like to me, like this character is going to be someone who, I think they might still have Norrin Rad as the Silver Surfer in these movies. And she's either like looking for him or she has replaced him or something like that. So the person that also did the article recently tweeted about how, yes, that one is there. There's also a Galactus gonna be in the movie that hasn't right. been cast yet. So what storyline is gonna be playing out if it's her in there and Galactus, does Galactus just blow up her planet? Yeah, I mean, that could be one of his Galactus blow, if she, if, if they <laughs> cast a Julia Garner just to die, oh, I'm gonna be very right. irritated. Julia, then that's why I believe that it's it, it, it's not that storyline from the comics that you say because it's Julia Garner. Yeah. You can't just hire that person to be murdered. No, I don't know. I mean, if they're like, we would like to keep Galactus around, we don't want to kill Galactus, but we'll yeah. kill off, you know. A Do you think they're going to just thing. kill Galactus? I don't know. I, I don't know how you wrap this story up because let's let's look at some of yeah, the other like, yeah, right? Ahead. Okay. So on Thursday this last week, which was April 4th, 4-4, four, four, mm-hmm. they announced that there were some free uh, Fantastic Four comics available to read on Marvel Unlimited. 
which is like their online comic service. If you haven't checked it out before, you can read these for free. These include Fantastic Four number one from oh. 1961. Okay. A run from Fantastic Four number 48 through 50, uh, which is the first appearance of Galactus and the Silver Surfer. So they want you to read those. Okay. And then also a more modern one called Fantastic Four Life Story number one. Uh, this 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 came out in 2021. This is like a more, it, it's like, Looking at the family, the, Fanta the Fantastic Four in real time. If they had lived oh, okay. from like the space race, they get their powers yeah. to now, like what that looks like for them okay. and how they kind of like looked through time as, as all these events were taking place. Um, so th these they put these comics out as kind of like, hey, get ready for the Fantastic Four movie. These comics are important. Oh, okay. So yes, more Galactus, right? Oh. And there's been rumors that Javier Bardem is playing Galactus. With, nothing's been confirmed there. But that'd be very exciting, very fun. Now, in these announcements, they also included uh, a logo for the Future Foundation. Now, that's, oh yes, yes, yes. Keep going. That's that's a rather new thing. I think it came around in like 2010. That's Jonathan Hickman, uh, who recently did the whole Krakoa run in the X Men. He he kind of came up with the Future Foundation, and that's a situation where like Reed Richards is like. He's like, yeah, the scientists suck. <laughs> I'm gonna create like a new group of scientists, like young people. We're gonna look forward and we're gonna make like a bright new future. And lots of people have been involved. Spider-Man was involved at mm. one point with the Future Foundation. So it seems like they want that to happen too. Okay. Or they want us to know about that. They, they, have, they put up a logo for it, which is very interesting because that involves like uh, Reed and Sue's kids. Yeah. Uh, Franklin and Valeria, I believe. So like, that could be interesting. If, they're, if this is a story where like, we have the Fantastic Four and also like Sue and Storm's kids, like and Galactus and Shala Ball. Like this could be crazy, right? I I like that that's that's almost too much. <laughs> that's almost too much. And I we were talking about this on uh at work, or well Eric was about how it's taking place in a different time. Right. But also in the past. Well, okay, so also they, <laughs> they tweeted out on 4-4, happy 4-4 day with this image, which is Johnny Storm as yeah. the Human Torch, and he's flying, yes. and he's making a four in the sky. Yes. Very cute. But if you look at, at the skyline of the city below, it's a very, like, retro-futuristic, 60s-style, but, yeah. like, advanced, fun... A uh, sci-fi city, feels, right? It feels like like the Jetsons. Almost, yeah, I, so that's like, what I was thinking. I was like, it feels like the Jetsons. Yeah, yeah, something mm -hmm. like that. So, yeah, it does feel like they're they're maybe creating this situation where like these this Fantastic Four comes from a different Earth, from a different world where mm -hmm. they came about in the '60s and they brought all this technology in early, and you know that society is more advanced than ours, and it, it's got it all together. Almost, it kind of feels like Earth eight three eight a little bit. It right? does from it Multiverse does. of Madness. So, and then we clash them with Battle World. Okay, I was like, then how the hell do we bring them in? <laughs> how right. do we bring them in? And if they have, and that, and that, and then that scenario, Galactus survives in that universe. Maybe, yeah. It's like they've got to escape their universe because the planet's getting destroyed. It, it could be an incursion situation yeah. where, like, their world is going to crash into ours, and so they have to come into our world to try and stop it. They realize we don't have a Fantastic Four. There are no, yeah. you know, maybe maybe it's a situation where like the MCU 616 doesn't have the Fantastic Four. Much like, you know, we weirdly don't have a Norman Osborn, it seems like, or like a Oscorp, you know, yes. something like that. We don't have mutants. Well, we're starting to with Kamala, we're starting but to, yeah. like, uh, and Namor is a mutant, uh, but we don't have like all the other ones that doesn't seem to have happened. So like, yeah, it could be a situation where they're crashing into our world and they realize, hey, they don't have a Fantastic Four. We can just go live over there. We'll just live over like there. Rick and Morty, we're like, yep. oh, their <laughs> Fantastic Four died a long time ago. It never got powers. <laughs> they actually went to space, but just died. Yeah, they just died in space. They so. just died in space. <laughs> um, I like that. It, it's, it, it's, it's so interesting to see that they only have it. Everything for Fantastic Four rightfully is under wraps. I understand. Right. We have four actual law cast members, yeah. maybe a fifth, and then a rumored Galactus. <laughs> yeah. And this movie, again, doesn't release until uh, late July 2025. Yeah. I believe July 25th, 2023. This is before or after Secret Wars. Uh, this is before Secret Wars. Before. Those dates haven't been updated fully yet, but they're definitely not yeah. happy. Okay. This is all going to happen before Secret Wars and before the next Avengers movie. Both and the topics. They haven't started filming yet, as far as we know. Okay. I think it has to be a different time. It has yeah. to be a different reality for right now. And yeah. then they come into ours. It feels like uh, with the two topics that we're discussing today between a Daredevil Born Again having literally like mm -hmm. eight characters, right. like having the originals and then bringing in two new, like right. could be possible villains. Uh, I'm like, there's just too many characters. 
how can you guys make it work in the universe that we have already created? Which, and it's like the, the, for Fantastic Four, they just have to come into ours, which I think is fine. Yeah, like, I love it. I don't want them creating all these problems by like being like, no, they've been there the whole time. Yeah, you just didn't see them. You, uh, didn't, you didn't remember them. It was like the irritated argument that I always get in with Wakanda. I'm always like, so y'all just stood by the side. Yeah, and they're like, yeah. We're like Eternals, you know, where they're like, oh, they've been around. They just, they're, they're programmed like, we to couldn't not interfere. Ever. Yeah, we couldn't interfere. Ever. And so we made like a bomb. It's my problem with the Ghostbusters when they're like, there's no ghosts. <laughs> it's like the 80s happened. You had cameras. <laughs> the Statue of Liberty walked down the street. Let's Even hope, ghosts are real. Let's hope Fantastic Four does not take after any of this. <laughs> Brandon, can you hit us with what's coming on this week? Yeah, we got some fun stuff coming up this week. Uh, you know, we've we've made it through our X Men rewatch series. That was a lot of fun. That was we made it through our MonsterVerse rewatch series. We did. Jessica. So what's next for our rewatch? We watches. Are we watchers? watches? Oh, what's up next for the oh, watchers? Oh, we watch oh, you gotta get a wee and your watchers. Oh, you got a little juice. You got we watch. You gotta watch it before you go to bed. Evan, Evan is dying out there, Des, right now. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll give I'll give you a little sneak peek on sneak peek. Oh, I think our next rewatch series. Don't don't tell them now. Don't hurt them now. Fantastic Four news. We're gonna watch rewatch the Fantastic Four movies. Ooh, and only we three, maybe four. Well, we what's ooh, the four? The Roger Corman one. Oh my god, the secret one. I thought you were talking. I was like, I know y'all excited for that 2015 one. Oh, the the Josh Train. Yeah. Anyway, it's, uh, Fantastic Four. That's a new rewatch. We watch series. The we watch uh, series. The little <laughs> we words. <laughs> also, Jessica's gonna probably do a, a, a bigger, more in depth breakdown of Daredevil and Punisher. And I'm what gonna that story act looks it out. Like. I'm gonna beat someone to death. She's gonna beat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Highest highest views ever. Uh, we're also continuing. We'll also be continuing our breakdowns of the Bad Batch. Oh hell yeah! Uh, everyone's excited for that uh, as well. Their next episode is Juggernaut. We'll also be breaking down the next episode of X Men ninety seven. Remember it? Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, maybe Damn a Gambit it. heavy episode. We're hoping. I don't know. Uh, and then next week uh, we're also looking to break down the Civil War movie. Alex Garland. Are you excited for that? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I don't want to look in a mirror. Yeah, right? <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, I what's life like a year from now? Let's mm, take a little pixie boo. Wow. I, 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 I don't think I'm wow. genuinely going to see this movie because I don't want to be stressed it is, out. It is stressful. It is stressful. <laughs> I don't want to be stressed out. Okay. And what it's, like, you... it's like a movie called Work Emails, the movie. Yeah. You just have to like watch someone do their work emails. I would do so, that, yeah. though. I love that escapism. No. Um, when I play games, <laughs> like when I play games, I'm always just doing like cooking simulators. <laughs> okay, and as we do with our sneak peek, what are you watching right now? Oh, Jessica, I'm loving Shogun. I've, it's so good. It's a lot way. of fun. It's really good. Very intense, uh, and, and like a really good show. That's like it uses its you know budget well. It feels mm -hmm. big. It feels it grandiose. Feels Was it not a lot of money? No, it is a lot. I mean, yeah, but like, I mean, I think it's using it very well. Like it doesn't feel like it's wasted, and it doesn't feel like there, it doesn't, it, it's working for me. I'm buying it. Yeah. It feels like Game of Thrones. It feels like a big expansive story. What's the one tip you would give to viewers that want to watch the show? Oh my gosh, subtitles. Oh, no, <laughs> but like, the say, show is subtitled, but even like, yeah, stay off your phone, a hundred percent. Put your phone down when you watch anything. Please. You should. I'm we're bad, you. we're bad people that literally. What's this wee business? I don't I, do it. I've seen you do it in a movie theater. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. How could you? How could you? <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> wow. That would be insane if you wow. did. No, I'll always get a notification. I'll look at it and I'll be like, oh, damn, I got to rewind no. it real quick. No. Yeah, uh, yeah. I love Shogun. I've been watching uh, Vanderpump Rules. Oh, no. And um, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you guys who I'm rooting for on Vanderpump Rules okay. because everyone hates them right now. Oh, OK. Well, that's Every <laughs> single human being. Opinion. And rightfully, you should because they're being ignorant and stupid. Mm. Um, long live Katie. Long live Ariana. Uh, the, the down with Sheena and down with Scandal. Okay. Uh, great show. Great you, show. Uh, do you watch it? No. I don't. But you'll I watch don't, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I right? don't watch. <laughs> first of all, Jessica, gets called the Kardashians. Now. Oh my bad. Uh, second of all, my I don't bad. watch it. Uh, but my partner enjoys it, and sometimes and I'll there. watch and be like, "This is," and then I'll say stuff under my breath, and she's like, "Don't do that." Oh. And then I'll watch wrestling and she'll say stuff under her breath and I'll be like, don't do that. It's a suplex. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, WrestleMania is this weekend. Are you oh very excited? Oh my God. 
Do you, you, think, Cody, do you think you, Cody Rhodes is going to... You should have been talking about that. Do you think Rock. Cody Rhodes is going to finish the story and beat Roman Reigns or will Roman Reigns... No, Roman Reigns he never will because that's how the I show goes. Yeah, that's I how, kinda, my, that's I how the show I kind of don't want him to win. I oh kind of don't want him to win. My roommate loves the freaking... Uh, what's going on? He'll be like, Jessica, did you see the Cody Rhodes? I'm like, I mean, no. I like Cody Rhodes. Don't get me wrong. I think he's, he's great. He's talented. It's incredible what he's done. Uh, it's incredible what he's done for himself get himself over like i love it but my man shouldn't win he shouldn't no win. he's not gonna win he and that's win. how it happens because he's like our little angel also i hate his family uh <laughs> Cody i acknowledge you roman reigns i acknowledge you <laughs> oh my god and you love the rock you should have talked Dude, about that the rock. hollywood rock right now is incredible heel rock is just this is this is this is the art ladies and gentlemen go on the rocks uh social media channels watch his like 20 minute promos that he delivers to camera while he's working out. No scripts, no edits, just going off the dome. Pure the man rock. is a legend. The man is a legend. And like, honestly, I haven't been happy with The Rock. And when I say The Rock here, I mean the character yeah. of The Rock within the world of WWE when he would show up over the last decade, kind of being mean, kind of being silly, being nice, selling this stuff. No, he's all in now, baby. And it is good. It is good. <laughs> it is good. Good wrestling. Genuinely, Brandon does the way he talks about The Rock being a heel and that and just coming back yeah. to wrestling made me want to go back and watch it's it. It's incredible. Um, I, uh, well, uh, this is you're seeing this on a Sunday. If you haven't been watching WrestleMania, there's some there's another night two is tonight. Turn it on. Uh, find someone who has Peacock. Get it. You guys go tune into wrestling. Check out um, WrestleMania night two tonight. Check it out. <laughs> I'll give you guys my Peacock subscription. Comment down below your thoughts on today, what, whether you're excited about uh, Julia Garner now joining as like yeah. a, a, a sub silver. What do you Super? think of uh, Fantastic Four news? What do you think of uh, the Punisher coming back in Daredevil Born Again? I'll tell you right now, I'm so excited yeah. about the Punisher coming back. I'm, I'm very ecstatic about the Punisher. Bring the Netflix MCU into the Disney MCU immediately. Follow me at Lulu underscore Clement. Subscribe to all the three channels of the new Rockstars Network. Also follow Brandon at no, Grin Barrick. Don't. Go talk to him. I don't Or you don't, can tweet at me. I'll tweet tag him. Anymore. I'll make sure. I'll be his assistant. Yeah. Watch all our channels. Go watch all our coverage for everything that you love. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>